Hey guys, it is well into spring right now. Everything is melting. There's lots of moisture in the air. It's a very misty day today. Um, quite damp, not too cold though. We're in the probably positive three kind of range. And on this video, we are going to be taking you along for what we get up to for a week. Nate's parents and uh, brother and sister are away. We we're all going to go down to Altai and uh, check out, have a look around for land and stuff down there. But our children were a little bit unwell, so we weren't able to make it down there this week. <coughs> but maybe another time. Anyway, we thought we would show you what we get up to while they're all gone for this week. And uh, today, the first thing we're going to do is go to the migration office and put in some additional paperwork for our children. So we're doing that now and we hope you enjoy this video. We went to the migration office, they checked all the documents and said that it was all good, but, well, except for the Zayavlinia, which is the application form, um, apparently they've made a new one since we put our applications in, so they wouldn't accept the old one. So I have to go home and print off some more and fill them out. I have to go to the bank and pay for something as well. Um, and then I have to make another appointment and we can get it all done. So hopefully it's pretty straightforward from now. Now that I, you know, I know exactly what I've got to do and uh, yeah, it should be pretty easy. Ooh, a special children's ambulance. <coughs> but anyway, so now I know exactly what I need to do. So we're going to get those things sorted out, make another appointment. Hopefully we get through pretty easy with that. And then we've got a whole bunch of other things planned for the day for the week. We've got uh, an issue with the car that we've got to fix. We have some seedlings we've got to plant for our summer garden. And I'll probably think of some other things. So yeah, should be a fun week. We've got the house to ourselves, so gonna I don't know, have a big party, who knows. We can be as noisy as we want now. That's a joke. Hey guys, I've just dropped the children home and Nate's going to stay with them while I go and pay the Gosposchlina at the bank, which is basically the fee for, um, or the state duty for getting out of the pair, so, or temporary residency. So I'm going to head out there now and uh, then all that's left for me to do is print out those couple of forms, fill them out and make an appointment. So hopefully we get this sorted soon. I'm also going to get the car checked out because fuel consumption on it is way too high and I've got a feeling it might be the valves need to be um, whatever they do with the valves shimmed or something but um, they, uh, the clearances need to be reset I think that's what I think is the problem it could be something else but uh, I've heard that Mitsubishi has a bit of a reputation for that so we're going to get that checked out and uh, then hopefully that will allow us to travel around a bit more without uh, it cost him so much because at the moment using the car is rather expensive.
So I got the fruit. And now I'm just gonna head home. Don't have far to go now. Um, as you can see, just over there, we have the church. And uh, our place is not far, a little bit further. So, as you guys can probably tell, it is uh, the next day, it's in the morning, I forgot. Um, we had a phone call with my parents, video call. So that was nice. And uh, now it's early morning and we're gonna clean this car up before we go to the mechanic. So I'm just gonna go out and get the hose and stuff sorted out. We've got um, power point down here, not far away. So that's handy. And uh, yeah, let's just get into it. some construction workers letting this truck out <clears throat> but to be honest this isn't that much different than traffic control in Nova Sibirsk there he comes big old truck So guys, I took the car to the mechanic and uh, they basically said it was the catalytic converter. It was all clogged up. So they're going to be fixing that. It'll be finished. But I reckon they'll be done around 3 o'clock. Then it's walking back. Taking a bit of a shortcut through the apartments and stuff. Across the railway. And uh, takes about 10 minutes less to walk that way. So I don't know if you can see but this is like all like a lake here. I'm gonna try and walk over there where it's a bit harder but it's feet are soaked. You can see this is all like just an icy layer to walk over here. Ah, yeah, there we are. This is obviously the path. I missed it. Oh, oh, yes. So I've been trying to call the migration office to make an appointment, but uh, the line's either busy or the call gets ended before I can talk to anybody. So I don't know what's going on there. But uh, it's been, I've called probably, I think, 40 times this morning, 47 times, something like that, I think. It's uh, quite a fair bit. Anyway, I'll keep trying, see how we go. Just behind me over here is a school, I think. A school there. This area is pretty old. So here people usually just go straight under the rails, come out over here from where I've come, they'll just go under the railway. If I'm gonna walk over this way, there's a uh, bridge up there, and you go over there. And down over there is a bridge down to Mega, goes down to Mega down there. Don't know how easy it is to tell how steep this is, but these are uh, for prams and stuff. And uh, first time you use them, it's uh, pretty. <laughs> kind of concerning how steep it is you just make sure that you got the you're pulling from the top 
when you go down you go the same way you're standing up and kind of lowering it down just don't trip over them pretty sure they weren't here first time we went because we had to carry it all the way up there Not far from our subdivision, or our house, I guess. This would be our subdivision. Not too far away. So guys, I have finally managed to get through to migration services, so we've got a, a uh, appointment booked for a later date. They said if we wanted to book early, we'd have to book online, but the site doesn't actually let us really use it properly because we're not citizens. So hopefully they fix that soon, because that is uh, one of the more annoying things um, about not being a Russian citizen, is that the Gosluge app does not work. So I can't register my car through there. I can't just, it just makes things a little bit more difficult. Um, but it's getting better all the time. So hopefully that will change soon. So yeah, we're just gonna do these uh, seedlings. We just got all our stuff out. Now little wheelbarrow there. And uh, after that, we will probably, probably try and tidy this up as well. Not exactly sure where I'm going to put that timber at the moment, but we need a walkway along the fence there because we're going to be using these garden beds and they're all muddy. It's not very good for walking through. So we're going to try and organise this timber a little bit more. Anyway, let's plant some seedlings. Monkey seed, I like. Sitting in the yard with a pumpkin gun. <laughs> all right, so. Can I can't just walking down the road car's ready now so I've got 40 minutes or a little bit under 40 minutes to walk over there and pick it up Nice, beautiful, sunny day. Bring my little boy with me. He likes to come with daddy, so where I can, I like to take him with me. And we're just gonna go pick the car up, so a quick walk over there and a little drive back. Should be fun. You can see all the cars. They're moving over out of the wheel ruts. Oh, not these ones. <laughs> They're okay, moving over so they don't splash us with water. The drivers over here are pretty uh, considerate for pedestrians as far as water goes. Um, which is saying something because drainage here is uh, a slate too soon. Breakfast cooking, snow's melting. So guys, another beautiful sunny day and it's the perfect time to be washing windows. So that's what my wife. So my wife is washing windows. I'm gonna clean up uh, this timber down here and then I'm gonna wash the car. Um, I did give it a rinse off before we took it to the mechanics, but I wasn't able to give it a proper clean. As you can see, it's still quite dirty. Um, 
So yeah, gonna do that. Got the plants out here, enjoying the nice sunshine. I'm hoping to build maybe some kind of a pot box or something to help them sprout a little bit better because we are gonna have some colder weather soon and um, we just don't have the space inside to keep all this stuff. Um, and there's just not enough uh, windows on the right side of the house. So yeah, um, by right side of the house, I mean this side here is the south side. So if you're watching in Australia, it's similar to being on the north side. Um, it's the sunny side of the house. And so basically, we've got a couple of windows at the top, um, which we don't, which are already being used. We have this window here, which is already being used. And that's our whole south side. The rest of them, we've got a veranda on the back. Uh, so we don't have access to that window. Uh, well, it doesn't have sun basically. And then we've got this window here, which hasn't been utilized yet, but um, it's also quite small. So yeah, if I can get something to be built outside, that'd be great. I do have plastic already, so we'll see how we go. Um, anyway, enough talking, let's get working. So um, I was gonna get the hose around the side there and clean that stuff up, but I actually have to spread some snow out first. So we'll just do a little bit of that and then uh, then we can get started. Up after our little munchkins have been in here. I wonder if we got like a rooftop tent for uh, like if we've got a van and then got a rooftop tent for it. What do you reckon? I reckon that'd be good as long as there's no bug, it's not too hot, it's not too cold, and it doesn't rain. No, no, because they have um, they have flour. I don't have much experience, it could be an idea. But this black stuff is really frustrating. <laughs> Dinner in a few minutes. Cool. So I got called in for dinner a little bit before and uh, now we're just going to spend the last little bits of daylight out here with the children before bed, cutting all the uh, stakes up. Fresh milk straight from the cow. Only way to have it. Anyway, it was a lovely week of getting things done, spending a bit of time together as a family. It was a little bit unfortunate we didn't get to go down to Alpai, mm -hmm. but I guess there's always next time. Um, yeah. We got lots done and uh, we had a lot of fun. The plants are growing well now. It was a little bit later than we had wanted to, but. Hopefully they oh, catch well. up. <laughs> the, the zucchinis look like they're going to catch up, but um, tomatoes might be a little bit behind. Yeah. Anyway, we hope that you enjoyed seeing um, kind of the more day-to-day -day sort of side of things. And uh, yeah, until next time, take care and bye-bye. Uh, oh, actually, I should mention that we've started a Telegram channel. There'll be a link down in the description, um, just in case uh, YouTube gets blocked here in Russia. Mm -hmm. So 
that way we'll be able to contact you all and notify you of where we're going we still we are planning on a youtube alternative and there should be an announcement about that in the coming weeks so mm. thanks all for your support and we look forward to seeing you next time take care